<laughs> yeah! What Alpine said to McLaren is insane. Alpine and McLaren are currently in a decent fight for the P4 spot in the Constructors' Championship, and there have been some shots fired from the Enston-based team towards McLaren. Although the championship has been decided, the Constructors' Championship is still something we're looking forward to unwinding. According to McLaren's and Alpine's statements, it's likely to go in the way of the French constructors, but that is far away from guaranteed. Nevertheless, Alan Permain took the opportunity to take a jab towards the woking base team and trigger some emotion. Alpine hasn't had a good weekend in Singapore, which was very well utilized by McLaren. The Woking based team finished P4 and P5 and gathered a decent amount of points as they briefly passed the French team in the Constructors' Championship. Nevertheless, the Suzuka GP proved to be a challenging one for McLaren, which is why they lost the championship lead yet again after Alpine's dominant performances on P4 and P7. When talking about the fight with Alpine, Norris said that they are in a league of their own, and they can do literally nothing at this point other than hope for the best thanks to the reliability of their car. According to him, he has no idea how McLaren is still in the Constructors' Championship fight with Alpine, and this is a statement that the Briton made on multiple occasions throughout the 2022 season. They are in another league to us at the minute. I'm happy we've been able to fight them so far in the season. It shows we've done a very good job in other areas, in reliability, in maximizing our performances, taking opportunities and not making mistakes. They must have done a lot worse than us in all of those areas to only just be ahead of us in the championship with the car they have. Not a surprise, it's not a big fight at the minute because they are so much quicker, but we'll keep trying and limit the points lost to them. The sporting director of Alpine, Alan Permain, replied to Norris and to this statement, saying that his team is currently looking at the likes of Mercedes rather than competing with McLaren in the near future. When talking about Norris's statement, Permain said, Lando loves to keep quoting that, doesn't he? But we only need to just be ahead. I'm not quite sure why he keeps on. I guess we've got him rattled. We are much more focused on Mercedes and trying to beat Mercedes. We're trying to get ourselves onto that sort of level. Permain continued to talk about the ongoing fight with McLaren, saying that the Singapore GP was a huge setback for the team, but they are more than happy to be back in the game with the dominant performance in Suzuka, adding, Of course we had a huge setback in Singapore, but I think in Japan it's all back to normal. I imagine that in the next races we can do the same. The car is clearly getting quicker, and I think it's getting closer to those top guys. After every race, we look at where we are in terms of percentage wins away from pole, and think things like that, and I'm sure we are closer than we've ever been this season, so it's definitely going in the right direction. I would much rather go into Abu Dhabi 40 points in front of them than one point in front of them. But after Abu Dhabi, I don't care if we are one point or 40 points clear. Fourth is our target. As long as we are fourth, that's really what counts. It's evident that Alpine has the upper edge when it comes to fighting McLaren, mostly due to the fact that the woking base team is literally a one-man show. Ricardo has scored only 29 points for the team, while Norris is the only driver that is not part of Mercedes, Red Bull or Ferrari and stood on the podium in 2022. However, Alpine's reliability issues were something they struggled a lot with in the 2022 season, and that is why the woking base team managed to capitalize on them multiple times throughout the 2022 caravan. Still, Andreas Seidel, the team's principal, doesn't have high hopes when it comes to fighting Alpine for the P4 spot in the constructor championship. When talking about the remainder of the season, Seidel said, It's important now for us really to focus on ourselves, make sure that we execute clean weekends, extract every single session the maximum that we have at the moment in our car. Only then do we have a chance to stay in the battle with a very strong Alpine team. We have to acknowledge they did a great job so far this season. It will be very tough for us to stay in this battle until the last lap in Abu Dhabi, but that's what we're here for. Reliability will play an important part as well in the last races now. But still, I think we have a good car, we have a good team, 
We have two strong drivers, and if we get our act together, I'm sure we can stay in this battle until the last lap. One can sense the negative connotation that Seidel used in this statement, and that is to stay in the championship fight with Alpine rather than to win it. While his competition is releasing statements in which they say they are looking at the likes of Mercedes and competing with the Brackley-based team, something that Ocon successfully did this season in Monaco and Suzuka, McLaren is struggling to keep things smoothly operating. However, these two teams have a bit of bad blood between them, especially with how the Piastri saga has ended for the French team. They have lost a driver that they invested so much intel and finance in to a team that is their main competitor in the championship. It is probably a very bitter pill to swallow to lose a protege to your fiercest rivals, but that is the truth, and Alpine is looking forward to an all-French lineup from 2023 onwards. They've been able to bring Gasly along and pair him up with Esteban Ocon, a lineup that wasn't very promising at the beginning due to the fact that they had personal issues dating all the way back to their karting days. Nevertheless, it seems like the Enston based team is ready to work on the differences between these two drivers, and they are likely to make both of them bury the hatchet and continue the friendship where it stopped. Still, Alpine is taking this relationship with a bit more precautionary measures than usual, which is why they are likely to limit the presence of their families, who also don't get along, to race weekends. According to Joe Sauer, this is one of the precautionary measures that Alpine will introduce in order to keep Paradise safe now that Gasly will finally have a chance to prove himself in a top-performing team, and Ocon does have the number one status in the team. When talking about Gasly's contract with Alpine, Ocon had nothing but praise for his old friend, saying, I mean, we started go-karting together, that's pretty crazy. I have a lot of fantastic memories obviously with Pierre when we were kids, and you know we lost ourselves a little bit. He was doing different championships, he went to Japan, I was staying in Europe, different teams, different times. But I think it would be great to collaborate together. It's not only myself now from Normandy, we're all three from Normandy, me, Pierre and the brand. So if we can bring that team to the top and make Normandy win, that would be something special. I think there are some great things that we can create there. The minimum is for us to do a perfect job, obviously, for the team and work well together. But I'm sure everything else will be good. You always want to beat your teammate when you're in F1. It's the same rivalry that you have with any teammate. There is no French, Spanish championship, so all good. So what's next for Alpine and McLaren? It's likely that both of these teams are going to fierce fights in the remainder of the 2022 season, and if everything goes as it went until this point, Alpine will have the upper hand due to the superiority of their engines. That is, if the engine itself manages to stay in one piece and not break like it did in Singapore. What do you think is next in this fight? Do you think that Alpine is really that much better than McLaren, and the fact that the woking based team poached Piastri will make them want to revenge even more? Or do you think that the reliability of the Renault engine is something that will hurt them in the Constructors' Championship fight? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks. Thanks for uh, having my back.